This next one is going to be absolutely hilarious. And if you think um, otherwise, you get 100% refund, all right, on this video. All right, you get your money back. So don't forget, those are the terms, man. If you don't laugh once, if you don't laugh one time, one time, man, then you get your money back. All right? So uh, let's let's check this out, man. I'm, I promise you. I promise you. You've interviewed Tulsi a bunch of times. I love Tulsi. She's incredible. She'd be an amazing president. I think. Hey, can you imagine if she was our vice president, right? If she was, we'd be like, oh, we can't wait. Like, yeah. He's he's done. Push him off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. that's gonna be trending. <laughs> Joe Rogan, push him off a cliff. <laughs> I, that's not. I was saying that in jest. Ladies and gentlemen. Only in jest. That was behind the bicycle incident. <laughs> he said, push him off a cliff. <laughs> That is not funny. Listen, listen. And I'm only laughing at that because um the timing was impeccable. The timing the timing was impeccable. He wasn't saying it to yeah, I wanna push Joe Biden off a cliff. He wasn't saying that. But he was just it was it was just good comedic timing. You gotta remember too, he's a comedian. That's what he is. And he's one of those shock comedians where he says things. All right, so here we go. we they're about to start talking about Kamala Harris and he's gonna do the funniest damn impression of her well i i got mad when i saw it so i, I know that it's funny <laughs> I, I was saying that in jest ladies and gentlemen only in jest <laughs> was behind no. the bicycle incident <laughs> she's um she's unusual in that they keep trying to label her right wing too she was literally a democratic congresswoman for eight years <clears throat> yeah she was a democratic congresswoman from hawaii a woman of color served uh and uh, was deployed overseas twice in medical units so dealing with people that are blown up she's a great person she's amazing she's be an amazing leader and ronda santos is, yeah but so the thing is like they're scared just get, of her let's they're get fucking, that group they're together. so scared of her the well they're saying tulsi who's this tulsi young lady um yeah i would like to hear more about her because they seems like her resume is impeccable Santos is, yeah, but so, the thing is, like, they're scared just get, of her. Let's they're get fucking, that group they're together. so scared of her. Here and we go, guys. It's about to start. Want. You want a woman president? There you go. You want a woman of color? There you go. You want a woman who's a veteran? There you go. There you go. You want, you want yeah. someone who served in government, was a congresswoman? There you go. Yeah. You and meanwhile, you've things. got Kamala looking like she's got some sort of like secret gun held to her head to where she can't even, like, you know, she's her sentences just go round and round. They're I'm like, great. She, she makes it's me... about the passage of time. <laughs> it's about time and passing time. It's not and that's why we have watches. <laughs> we have watches because otherwise, how would you know how much time has passed? Time is a fleeting time type thing. That... She sounds like a dang old character on In Living Color. Have y'all ever heard of In Living, In Living Color? First of all, because all of y'all haven't heard of In Living Color before. But those that have, it just sounds like one of them daggone type of characters that, you know, you're like, okay, go. And they're just coming off the top of their head with stuff, just freestyling, you know what I mean? Um, like, 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 just, just coming up with stuff, like winging it is what they seem like. So, all right, back to Kamala, man. This, this train is so funny and my bad. Okay, here we go. Because otherwise, how would you know how much time has passed? Time is a fleeting time type thing that only, <laughs> only happens when time passes. If you just sit there, so let's be good to each other with time. <laughs> oh that sounded like when she was talking to them kids that time, and I believe she was at the White House, and she gave the most underwhelming speech to them. I was like, oh, man, are you freaking kidding me? And then when she was talking about um, when she told the story about when she was a really small kid and and, and her and her her first word was freedom or something like that. I'm like, if you don't get the hell out of my face, okay. Let's be good to each other this time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That's better than hers. That's better than her writing. But, yeah, that's she, way that better than just hers. just wings it. She's oh. just winging it. No, do you think she wings it or do you think that oh. she's... I, I think in the headlights. She looks... Uh, she, he, yeah, and I said that to my wife too. I said it to my wife. I said she should be able to be a public speaker with no issue. I mean, she's an attorney, right? So I'm guessing when it's time to attorney and you're you're doing your thing, you're not just going to be there just saying whatever the hell's on your mind at the time. You're not going to be winging it. You're going to be 
real comfortable in your position. This is what I do. This is what I went to school with. I mean, went to school for. So I'm sure she's probably good in that. I've never seen her practice. I mean, do her thing in a in the um, court system or anything. But I can imagine most people are. I I I believe that she is not a content creator. That's what it is. She is not a content creator, and people don't understand that it. it takes a certain level of comfortability and skill in order to do that. And as a matter of fact, you got to do that over and over and over again. You got to have repetitions um, so that once the camera is on and the microphone is on and you're asked question after question after question, um, you're nice and poised. You're seasoned when that happens. Like Joe Biden doesn't seem comfortable doing it. Um, Kamala seems horribly uncomfortable doing it. And it's a whole bunch of people out there who can't do it. It's, as a matter of fact, it's people who are newscasters that still seem extremely uncomfortable when it comes to time to the camera and microphone. But hold on, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Do you think she wings it or do you think that oh. she's... I, I think in the headlights. She looks scared. She should be scared. She looks absolutely petrified. She should be scared that they don't dig up her record and find out what she actually has done. Yeah. To yeah. find out what she's done to all those people that she kept in jail longer mm -hmm. than they were supposed to be released to use them as cheap labor for the state to wow. fight wildfires. Yeah. Wow. Well, all the people that she tried. Well, that was my friend, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, yeah, he was in one of those prisons, I think. Um, he, Get out of here. He, yeah, look, that lady laughed about whether or not she'd smoked marijuana after she put people in jail for it. Yeah. There, there's, there's some evil that's involved in that kind of lack of compassion for human beings that she displayed. Anyway. Hold on, she laughed about putting people in jail for marijuana? No, oh, she laughed about her smoking marijuana once or twice or smoking marijuana right now. You know what? That makes all the sense in the world, man. I just now checked out this this one video where a young lady by the name of Caitlin was walking around the people on the beach and she was just asking them question after question after question after question. And the main question was, can a mother be a father? And they or or what is a father is what she was asking. Well, we done went the whole year of 2022 not being able to answer a question, what is a woman? Now people on the beach don't know how to answer a question, what is a father? Only two people out of all the 40 people she talked to was able to answer but anyway i said i blame it on weed i blame it i think weed is the problem man that's what i thought yeah oh yeah i think weed is the problem bro because everybody can't handle it at all clearly i can't man but she seemed like she's always high that's what that is Kamala Harris seems like she she's always like as soon as they put the the microphone in her face like that as soon as they do that that edible kicks in and she's like whoa time after time I just put on watches and I watch people look at the look at the clocks no I mean she just start freestyling and and I'm like, yeah, she's doing her Eminem thing because she's coming straight off the top of the head, you know, like like they didn't cut on the beat and she's battling against somebody else. Yeah, coming off the head, huh? With these lyrics, you about to be dead, huh? I know your name ain't Fred, but it's not Chris because if it was, I would cross like Chris across. You know what I mean? I know that was horrible freestyling. Don't judge me. And I hope you did not assume that just because I'm black that I know how to freestyle. Because if you did, that's racist. It's racist, son. That's what it is. It's racist. Okay, here we go. In that kind of lack of compassion for human beings that she displayed. And we, if we had a Tulsi right there, I don't think it would be a question. I think everybody would be like, great. Okay, yeah. next. Well, when, okay. She, when Tulsi sank Kamala Harris during the debate. So sweet. Holy. That was sexy. That was sexy. Yeah. But they thought that Kamala was going to be the one, and Tulsi was like, hang on a second, because oh. here's what's real. And when she said that, people were like, what the f***, is that real? And then yeah. they started Googling it, and that was the end. Yeah. That was the end. She literally fell out of candidacy right then <laughs> until, like, wow. and then meanwhile, she was like, the, the stuff that she said about Biden when he was running against her was horrible. Yeah. But then she's like, it was a campaign. <laughs> did you see that interview no. she did with Colbert? No. She was like, yeah, she did it say was that. a campaign. She did say that. I don't know. Oh, you're, you're supposed to say nasty things. things. You don't believe during I mean, a campaign? All yeah, you're supposed to lie. Do, right? You're Cut supposed to freestyle. Out, I'm yeah. never, I'll never do that. You've yeah, they, they, they be 
like snapping on each other real bad pointing out the fact that their mother never went to college and all those things <laughs> and um then as soon as they're able to run with one another they just like yeah we fought together and we know each other can fight so now it's us against them now we gotta hit them low huh yeah that's usually how it go and she was like oh it's a campaign i didn't mean none of that all the stuff i said about him yeah it was true it was on his record and all that other stuff but i only said it because i wanted the job that's it huh you can't respect it huh but you know that's their business um but y'all let me know man am i giving y'all a refund was it was it hilarious or not huh but yeah right, come on tell the truth and don't be just saying listen i want my watch back i want my 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 10 minutes back i want my like back i want my super thanks back don't do none of that if you actually laugh because i know you laugh he sounds just like kamala go go and play it back i bet you'd be like man he sounds just like kamala but per usual i want to hear what y'all gotta say about this in the comments below and if you have yet to hit that subscribe button please make sure you do so on your way out the door once again guys i'm dan and now we are all the lfr family and i look forward to seeing you on the next video hopefully inside the patreon as well y'all have been amazing per usual love y'all bye